something strange is happening across the sky. The ozone layer protecting people's lives from ultraviolet rays has been thinning with negative effects. This patient developed skin cancer due to ultraviolet exposure. The black area next to his nose is the skin cancer. In malignant cases, 30% of patients die within five years. Ultraviolet rays cause cataracts as well. Severe cataracts can lead people to lose their vision. Fluorocarbons deplete the ozone layer. Let's look at why ozone depletion due to fluorocarbons is taking place and how Japan has been dealing with the fluorocarbon issue. For a long time, we thought fluorocarbons were a dream substance for humankind's continued search for affluence and comfort. Fluorocarbons are artificial compounds from chlorine, carbon, and fluorine. They are colorless and odorless. Fluorocarbons cool things down, do not easily transfer heat, and cause no harm to humans. Thus, we have used fluorocarbons in various parts of our lives. Fluorocarbons are used primarily as refrigerants. They remove surrounding heat when they vaporize. This keeps the food in a refrigerator cool. Air conditioners use the vaporization heat of fluorocarbons to keep rooms comfortable. Fluorocarbons are also used in car air conditioners. In developing countries, fluorocarbons are used in urethane foam for car seats and sponges. They are also used as solvents for cleaning semiconductors and dry cleaning. The ozone layer originated in the ancient ocean and was gradually formed for over two billion years. The source of the ozone layer is oxygen produced through the photosynthesis of ancient ocean life forms. Now, let's look at the mechanism and role of the ozone layer. Oxygen released by ocean life reaches the stratosphere. It is broken down by sunlight and forms the ozone layer. The ozone layer absorbs ultraviolet rays, keeping the harmful rays from reaching the Earth's surface. About 400 million years ago, the formation of the ozone layer enabled oceanic life forms to move onto land. Without the ozone layer, the evolution of all life forms would not have taken place. However, in the latter half of the 20th century, large quantities of fluorocarbons began to be vented into the air. As a result, we have begun to destroy the ozone layer. Once reaching the stratosphere, 
fluorocarbons start to release chlorine, which then destroys the ozone layer. When the ozone layer is depleted, ultraviolet rays reach the Earth's surface. They cause skin cancer and cataracts, threatening human health. Meteorological agencies around the world have observed global ozone levels by using satellites and weather balloons called ozone zondes. The results are very serious. This data shows how much global ozone levels have declined over two decades. Except for areas along the equator, ozone levels were found to be declining. Ozone depletion tends to take place when the temperature of the stratosphere is low. The higher the latitude, the more depletion. The greatest ozone depletion has been taking place over Antarctica, where the ozone hole has been observed. The Antarctic ozone hole began to appear in the early 1980s. It is shown in white. The ozone hole is where the ozone level falls below a third of the global average. It continues to expand over Antarctica. The Japan Meteorological Agency has not seen clear signs of recovery from this ozone depletion. If the ozone level depletes by 1%, the level of ultraviolet rays increases by 1.5%. Diseases caused by ultraviolet rays are increasing worldwide. The greatest concern is the increasing number of skin cancer cases. When the cancer spreads to other parts of the body, 30% of patients die within five years. According to the United Nations, 2.2 million people suffer from skin cancer every year. 200,000 of them have malignant skin cancer. What causes skin cancer? At Kyoto University, an experiment was done exposing mice to ultraviolet rays. Mice were exposed to ultraviolet rays three times a week. After 40 weeks, all the mice had developed skin cancer. When researchers examined the genes of the mice, they found that part of the cancer inhibiting genes was lacking. Ultraviolet rays caused the genes to mutate, which then caused skin cancer. Ultraviolet rays damage the lenses of human eyes, leading to cataracts. The United Nations reports that every year, 3.2 million people lose their vision due to cataracts from ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet rays affect crops as well. Overexposure to ultraviolet rays can cause spinach to die. Ultraviolet rays are known to reduce rice yields and prevent frog eggs from hatching. Increases in the rays may affect global food production and, ultimately, the entire ecosystem of the Earth.